All right, we're in the home stretch. This is five steps to a new year. But before we take a step forward, take a step back. This is actually parenting advice. How so? Well, anything that you're going to be doing with your kids, I'm making the assumption that you're already doing with yourself or for yourself. If you start to have success with some of these strategies in your own life, you begin to internalize the ideas, it makes them that much easier to share with your kids and then teach them to be able to succeed in their own lives. So with that, I give you step number one, which is you have to be crystal clear in your mind about what your vision is for the new year. My example, of course, I'm going to try and increase swimming and riding the three or four days a week. That's easy to measure. I look at the calendar. I either did or I didn't. Right? Make it measurable, make it easy to see the results. Step number two, you've got to have a plan. I can't wake up every morning and say, should I swim or should I not? I'm going to put those dates on the calendar. I'm going to look at everything else that's going on in my life, and I'm going to make the time by simply putting those dates on the calendar. That way I have a plan in place. Step number three, the rubber really hits the road because you have to commit. If you've written that on the calendar that says you're going to go and have the swim workout on Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., Wednesday morning shows up, you better get out of the house and into the car and down to the pool and get that workout done. That's where you really have to commit. And when you make that commitment, you've done the workout, you've succeeded, what happens? Success leads to success. You've got the motivation and the confidence to know that you really can follow through on this plan. Now, step number four is you've had some success. Seven days has gone by. You need to reflect. Look back on past successes. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Hopefully it was challenging, which means it pushed you a little bit. Now, what are you going to do the following week? A little bit more of the same? You feel like, oh, I could push myself a little bit further? Be cautious. Don't push yourself too far. Remember, we're thinking long term. We're thinking these are new sustainable habits that we want to put into place for months to come. So take it easy, gradual, baby steps, baby steps. Step number five. What is step number five? You've had some success. You've been able to reflect what now, right? Repeat. Of course, you're going to go back up to step number one. You're going to re-clarify the vision. How often should you do that? About once a month, four to six weeks. Take a real big look at what you've done and all the success that you've had and then plot a path for the future. That's it. Five simple steps. Good luck to you in this new year. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's any way that I can help you. Take care.